you've got two areas in the, in the United States which suffer from the same disease. Education is one and health care is the other. Education is a simple case. We don't want to, we don't, it isn't a public purpose to build brick schools and, and have students taught there. The public purpose is to provide education. You're a producer, producing a product. And if you want to subsidize the production of that product, there are two ways you can do it. You can subsidize the producer or you can subsidize the consumer. In education, we subsidize the producer. We subsidize the school. If you subsidize the student instead, you would have competition. The student could choose which school he would go to, and that would force the schools to improve and to meet the taste of their students. Here is a situation in which we have an educational system in which something like 30% of the youngsters who start high school never finish, never get it. They are condemned to, uh, to low-income jobs. They are condemned to a situation in which they are going to be at the bottom. And that, that leads to a divisive society. It leads to a, to a uh, stratified society rather than one of general cooperation and general understanding. L literacy today in the United States, effective literacy, is almost surely less than it was a hundred years ago. Before we had any government involved in education at all, you had uh, the majority of youngsters were schooled and were, were re literate, were able to learn. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a disgrace for a country like the United States to have 30% of the population never graduate from high school. The number is more than that because I've left out those who have dropped out through elementary school. It's a disgrace that people can't read and write. And uh, it's hard for me to see how we can continue to maintain a decent, free, human society if you have a large subsection which is condemned to poverty and to be to handouts. Mm -hmm. Education ought to be a state and local matter, not a federal matter. So it ought to be a local matter, but it ought to be a parental matter. The responsibility for educating children is with their parents. <laughs> and in order to make it a parental matter, you have to have a situation in which the parents are free to choose the schools their children go to. They aren't now. Today, the schools pick the children. The children are assigned to schools by geography, by where they live. And essentially, you've got a, a school picking its own children. The, as I said in 1955, take the amount of money that we're now spending on education, divided by the number of children, and give that amount of money to each parent uh, as a, that's what we're now spending now. We keep on spending that, but spend it in the form of vouchers going to all parents. Stop the growth of government. Bring government down and make it smaller.